Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this historic day at Public Community College. I am Erin Hergert. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications. And to kick this morning off, I'd like to introduce our Dean of Health and Public Safe Safety, and that's Mary Chavez. Thank you, Erin, and good morning. Um, I want to thank you for joining us as we celebrate this historic moment and exciting news for Pueblo Community College. Starting fall of 2016, we will offer our first Bachelor of Applied Science degree, and that degree is going to be in dental hygiene. So how did we get to this point of being able to do this? Um, the Colorado Community College system recognized that there was a gap in Colorado's higher education um, with career and our technical associate degree programs. Mo those students that graduate from those programs receive very rewarding careers, but they did not have an efficient pathway to a four-year degree. So this started the legislation journey of two-year colleges being able to offer four-year uh, Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Dr. Sunny Schmidt will come forward in a little bit just to talk a little bit more about that. But once PCC knew that a Bachelor of Applied Science was within our reach, we, we went forward and we chose to have our first Bachelor of Applied Science in dental hygiene. Dental hygiene at the associate degree level is a very rewarding career. However, for practitioners to advance their careers and to be able to work in the fields of education, public health, and sales, they need a bachelor's degree. And at that time, there were no Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in Colorado until now. <laughs> So our dental hygienists were having to search elsewhere to get their advanced degrees. Due to the difficulty of finding qualified faculty that meet program accreditation requirements, which is a bachelor's degree, PCC made the decision that we would offer a Bachelor of Applied Science in Dental Hygiene with an education track. And so that's our focus of our Bachelor of Applied Science. And our department chair will talk a little bit more about the curriculum in just a little bit. Obviously, this type of initiative does not happen without a team approach, and many people were involved with this. I'm just going to be able to recognize a few. Um, but we would not have even gotten off the ground without the vision and the leadership of our president, Dr. Patty Arjavik, our chief academic officer, Dr. Sunny Smith, our chief business officer, Mr. John Broody, because you know you always got to have the money guy on your side. <laughs> and then our dental hygiene program department chair, Ms. Elsa, Elsa Eccles, and her dental hygiene team. Um, Elsa has been a part of PCC's dental hygiene program since 1990, and her passion for the field, along with her team, is just as, as outstanding. Um, so there was no better person to take on our first Bachelor of Applied Science degree initiative and move us forward to meet the needs in our community and in the state of Colorado. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Sunny Schmidt, whose responsibility was to ensure that all the approval and all the accreditation steps, and there were several, but that we followed them all. And that wasn't an easy task to keep Elsa and I in line, but she did a good job. So Dr. Sunny Schmidt. Well, I think everybody uh, needs to have an appreciation of how something like this comes about because it, it really spanned nearly two years of hard work. It started when the governor signed the Senate Bill 14-004 in February 2014, which authorized the community colleges to offer technical, career, and workforce development Bachelor of Applied Science degrees here in Colorado. That was a very momentous decision. PCC, shortly after, began its research in the summer of 2014 with a feasibility study by Interact Communications, a group out of Wisconsin who produced national, state, and local employment data that indicated an emerging demand for bachelor degree qualified dental hygienists. The feasibility study also recommended that coursework be offered in an online format because the program would be more attractive to busy uh, prof licensed professionals who were working in the field. Armed with this research, PCC's academic team sought local curriculum committee approval 
and then state faculty curriculum committee approval uh, in 2015. Once this was achieved, we prepared a lengthy and detailed application packet that included a complete degree plan, faculty qualifications, and a five-year budget plan, just to name a few things. The State Board of Community Colleges and Occupational Education approved PCC to offer a BIS in dental hygiene at its meeting in August 12, 2015. Shortly thereafter, the Colorado Commission on Higher Education approved PCC to offer a BIS in dental hygiene at their September 3, 2015 meeting. The college was now ready to make application to our accrediting body for its approval to expand our mission to offer bachelor's degrees because that was not within our purview up until this time. The expansion of our mission to offer bachelor's degrees required higher learning commission approval, which triggered an accreditation team visit to the college in March of this year. So the we were visited by two trained peer reviewers to evaluate the institution's capacity to deliver a high quality Bachelor of Applied Science program in dental hygiene. The visiting team we had a wonderful visit, a truly wonderful visit, recommended that PCC was ready in every way to move forward and made an unqualified recommendation to the Higher Learning Commission to the council who would approve us uh, in March of this year. So without even a single comment for improvement, we were recommended and the HLC Institutional Action Council met on May 17th, 2016, and approved PCC to offer a new academic degree program to its mission, the Bachelor of Applied Science in Dental Hygiene. And you could hear the shouting throughout this entire institution. <laughs> we were going, yeah. Um, in our application for HLC approval, we stated a few goals. The bachelor's degree would provide an opportunity for underserved and first generation students to continue their educational pathway in a familiar community college setting, thus making it much more likely that these students will persist and complete the degree. The degree will contribute to the goal of closing the educational attainment gap between majority and minority populations in Colorado. PCC would help further the Colorado Commission of Higher Education master plan goal to increase the attainment of high quality post-secondary credentials to meet workforce demands and enhance access to post-secondary education. And lastly, to provide affordable access to a four-year degree in a high demand field at a time when the General Assembly is concerned about tuition increases and student debt. So this uh, decision and this approval really leads the way for all of this to happen. So next, um, we'd like to introduce Elsa Eccles, the department chair and faculty and dental hygiene. Thank you. Thanks, Sunny. We're very excited about this new opportunity not only for the graduates of the dental hygiene schools in the state of Colorado, but for the profession of dental hygiene as a whole. This advanced degree isn't necessarily about expanding the earning potential of hygienists in the state, but the career opportunities that it provides. Most hygienists who graduate with an AAS degree work in the private practice sector. Without an advanced degree, they are not able to expand their career options in the areas of education, research, public health, sales, or administration, as these careers usually require a bachelor's degree or higher. When a dental hygiene student graduates from a program, they have earned at least 93 credit hours, 29 of those are in general education requirements, and 64 of those are dental hygiene specific courses. 
So when students try to obtain a bachelor's degree in another area, their courses are not transferable and the student ends up needing approximately 40 to 52 additional credit hours to obtain their bachelor's degree. In our bachelor's degree completion program, the student will only need 24 additional dental hygiene specific courses and one three credit general education requirement to complete the degree. This is an affordable and flexible option as there are only seven additional courses required and six of those are going to be offered online. Each course will be offered in convenient eight-week tracks except for the final course, which will be a 16-week capstone project. The total cost of the degree is estimated at approximately $10,000. The PCC program has chosen to focus on the educational track to help fill the national crisis in finding qualified faculty to fill positions. Qualifications for admissions to the program are that the applicant must be a licensed dental hygienist in any state, They're, they must have a minimum 2.5 GPA and have previous work experience. To date, the program has received numerous requests for applications and information. Applications are currently being accepted for the first class starting in the fall of 2016. I would like to now introduce Lauren Stewart, who is a proud graduate of Pueblo Community College and going to enroll in the bachelor's degree completion program. Thank you. Good morning. I'm grateful for this opportunity to further my education in the field that is directly related to my career and at a school that, is, that I just graduated from. The course outline seems attainable and doable while also still working as a hygienist. I am excited and looking forward to learning about and becoming an, an instructor in dental hygiene, passing on the torch from being a student. Earning this Bachelor's of Applied Science in Dental Hygiene degree from PCC means renowned education from instructors who have and continue to give their all for the betterment of their students. I am honored to forever be a part of this program. The reputation of this program is bar none. There are four programs in the state that offer dental hygiene, but this program prepares its students with the necessary tools, education, and skills to be leaders and to excel in all that we do. After checking with other universities, PCC is the best option for me because I will be able to complete this program in 24 credit hours, like Ms. Eccles had said, versus 46 at another school. This means that I will be able to complete my degree in a quicker amount of time and get my foot in the door. Along with the resume booster, the doors that this degree will open are immeasurable. After completion of this program, I hope to tutor students, work part-time, and then down the road become full-time faculty with further continuance of my education with a master's degree. Thanks. And last, but definitely not least, I'd like to introduce our president, Dr. Patty Urjavik. Thank you, and uh, you're way too quiet. I think we need to give a big round of applause to this great team for all the work that they did in bringing us to this point. So very proud of you. A few years ago, the Student Center was uh, underwent renovation, as you all know. And uh, while we were in the middle of construction, we found a time capsule. And so we opened it, and in that time capsule, we found a study that was commissioned in 1960 by Pueblo College and then President Marvit Knudsen to determine the feasibility of adding four-year degrees to the college. This report states, for a considerable number of years, Pueblo College has enjoyed the reputation of being one of the best junior colleges in the North Central Association territory. This reputation was earned through the careful planning of the educational programs to meet the needs and demands of the clientele and the wise administration in developing the physical plant, educational equipment, and competent staff. The report went on to say it would appear that it, in its entire history, 
Pueblo College has been dedicated to the task of serving its clientele in almost all of its needs and demands, whether these be theoretical, general, scientific, cultural, or practical and applied. The writer was impressed with the care and diligence which has been exercised in assessing the needs of the clientele and then providing for those needs with carefully planned, well-equipped, and adequately staffed education programs in the general education, pre-professional, and vocational technical areas. In general, the educational programs have been carefully and closely tailored to the needs and demands of the clientele, was the report of this writer back in 1960. The report went on to examine financial resources, the physical plant, organizational structure, and faculty and staff competencies. As far as the maintenance of the physical um, plant is concerned, the writer had nothing but commendations to offer. The evidence of excellence ma excellent maintained procedures was apparent all over campus. The writer had never seen anything better and had seldom seen anything as good. Good housekeeping is always an asset in good educational programs, he wrote. The report suggested that prior to undertaking a four-year program, a library, a science building, a fine arts building would be essential. In preparation for four-year degree to program, it would be necessary to add to the staff a core of advanced scholars in every academic other area or subject matter field. Dr. Kruger suggested that stereotyped textbook teaching is the most boring procedure that can be imagined for receptive minds in any college or university. How many times have we talked about that? <laughs> Keep in mind, however, that the idea of the use of technology in the classroom in 1960 was literally unheard of, and that online learning was not even imaginable. But even back in 1960, the author found the staff in the vocational technical area are excellent, and the continuation of the vocational technical and other terminal curricula as part of an expanded four-year program could be supported. Think about it. In 1960, they already knew that this was the answer. Finally, the writer states, the promotion of the idea that vocational, technical, and two-year curricula are not compatible with four-year curricula in the, on the campus fails to recognize a current trend in educational circles. And so here we are today, 56 years later. The recommendations of so long ago have been acted upon. We have a beautiful resource center and library. We have a great academic building. We have highly qualified, competent staff. And the, and, and the course content leading to a major in the academic subject matter, as Dr. Schmidt said, has been carefully planned through the entire sequence in order to secure proper breadth and depth. And we are pleased to announce that Pueblo Community College will offer its first Bachelor of Applied Science, but it's not going to be our last, beginning in the fall of 2016, as we cultivate the next generation of educators in the field of dental hygiene. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting our vision, the role and mission. Everybody that I see here has played just an integral part in where Pueblo Community College is today. Thank you.